be like, uh, I'm gonna go and break. Her. Damn. <laughs> I'm gonna go and break. I need the arm though. Why do you need the arm? Look how sad he is without the arm. <laughs> it's not a arm. weapon. As a as a fellow ba uh, bouncer, it's not a weapon. He just needs to grab stuff. Make him make a persuasion check. <laughs> <laughs> he needs to crank <laughs> that one. Oh. He, you're like holding the arm. It's like the gun. Yeah, I was gonna say. So, yeah, so yeah, so like yeah, so like you like pick up like Nobby's arm and show him, like it's not a weapon. And the like shocking grasp will like you like. Oh, is that disabled? Yeah, that's, just like this is so I was, shoot yeah, I was gonna say like a like a like Eldritch yeah. blast just. <laughs> Oh, to be fair, I didn't know it did that. <laughs> and the entire engine goes, ah! And sort of like everyone's staring like at you two now. This is you're... why we say no weapons, people. <laughs> <laughs> you're holding me on the back on. Then he takes like the arm back and just puts it back there. I'm going to sit down beside Navi. I tried. I tried. <laughs> he heard the blast, but he didn't let go of her. You recognize the sound of like a blast. I'm like, oh, that's yeah. what my arm used to sound like. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> you can still hear it. Quit telling everyone I'm dead. Alright, so yeah, so you sit back but down at the table beside Nobby. You told him that you tried to get his arm back real like really hard. Nobby and uh, and and uh, the rest of the party sort of like make their uh, way over, just sort of like powwow and talk about what they had uh, learned. This guy didn't take it. I'm sure of it. I feel very confident that the bard did not take a necklace. No, I feel confident. I feel confident. <laughs> I feel nat 20 confident. <laughs> oh, you should have been fucking nat 20. Well, I didn't charge him from the moment I looked at him. You did. You fucking went to go. <laughs> That's because I don't trust anybody. But I'm still confident. What are you take? whittling now? <laughs> you making like a prison shank out of his food. <laughs> you were just really driving home this whole special thing, eh? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I, uh, so, Navi, you've only been drinking out of the pot, right? Sure. Yeah. I'm asking you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. I like slide over the mug that you haven't touched and just pour some of your brandy into it and just shoot it. <laughs> now you're drinking my fucking- ate my lunch and now you're drinking my drink. Yeah. We're a team. We team. share. No. Okay, I'll remember <laughs> that. <laughs> I didn't, you share. Oh. You sh you're the mom. <laughs> when did I become a mom? <laughs> Since you banned yes, the child. Sebastian? <laughs> I, I'm calling for a wench. A wench? Is that what they're called? Oh my god. That's how you call for uh, That's rude. <laughs> Pick our song. So, <laughs> you you so, uh, so after a uh, like couple of seconds, uh, Julie comes by and she sort of sits at the table and is like, so, have you learned anything? I'm hungry! The bar uh, definitely didn't. <laughs> However, there is a new suspect. Bard might be a the prostitute guy. that the bard was with. Who's was with a prostitute? According to him. I told Luther that, that, that there were no prostitutes allowed in this inn. The lady of the night. Can I get a no. prostitute for four gold? Unfortunately, Can I get some that. food? <laughs> <laughs> of course, so what can I get you? Uh, one of everything. Huh? I haven't eaten in weeks, it feels like. <laughs> Well, you haven't eaten in weeks. You've just all been tasting like shit. Oh, yeah. That's now good. it tastes fine. Yeah. Does it? Yeah. Give me everything. <laughs> yeah, I don't know when I'm not, not going to be able to taste again. <laughs> so, just shovel out of the end. So, a regular meal costs... Put it under what I'm working today. So <laughs> a, on my bag. So, a, so, like, a regular meal is a silver piece. A lavish meal is six silver pieces. A god feast is two gold pieces. How much are you putting down for this meal? Just give me give me ten of the medium ones. Wait, what? So six gold pieces. Why don't you just do the god feast? That's how many gold pieces? Two. Two. Okay, give me six of each. He's <laughs> hungry. Excuse me, sir. He's hungry. Two happy meals. <laughs> so, so, 12 gold pieces, how much 30, 36 silver pieces, that's another three and a half, so... Can we just explain how big a god meal is? Uh, they have to shut down the kitchen afterwards, because you have literally, like, taken all the food out. They just laid it You're all out. You're gonna get out. kicked out of this fucking place! For what? Ordering food? For shutting special. them down! So, so after all that... Hey, 
Uh, it costs eight, eight, 18 gold pieces for all that. The heal my pick. How much am I making today? I was going to say, she sort of like, she makes you pay before she brings all of this out. How much am I making today? You don't work here. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just did half a shift. I'm on break. You don't work here. That's go go. Go go. Go. Who's go go? You mean Goliath. you mean Dave? <laughs> it says go go. Dave sure. returns. Dave. You mean Dave, my bouncer? It's yeah, go go yeah. Dave. Goliath. Go go Dave. Goliath. We're on first name basis. Sir, you don't work here. If you want all this, Ask food, go -Go. you're gonna have to pay for it. Ask go go. I was on rack duty. <laughs> So you're gonna have to pay for this food before I go ahead. How much was it? Three gold? Eighteen for everything. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Paid. All right. Paid. Four. Don't switch. What's wrong? Nothing. What is, what's wrong? Right? Nothing's wrong. It's okay. Tip is included. What did you do wrong? Nothing is wrong. Ren went to do. Did what you just fuck up? No. Did you fuck up? I did. No. You didn't. Did you fuck up? No, you didn't. What happened? What? You're scaring me. So, uh, so they just shut down the kitchen for the rest, Nothing like, is like wrong. for the rest of the afternoon. Mm. Uh, they just bring out like mountains and mountains and mountains of food, of like ham and steak and bacon and soup and pie and cake and everything. Like they just like drop everything like by like the end of it. You're just surrounded by like just like food like all the way around in like a semicircle like around it's a you. Uh, Nothing is wrong. Ordered. Search down. Alright, so while Sebastian is eating, uh thanks to him closing down like the like whole kitchen, like everyone like just sort of like clears out. I was like, well shit, I guess lunch is over then. <laughs> um so basically like the like in sort of like clears out there's like a couple of like people just sort of like like uh, like uh, just drink drinking there now um but sort of like there's not a lot of people there now maybe like so six regular. or so yeah exactly well, the dave said i'm gonna break because it's so busy and <laughs> he's worked half the shift and now he, on his break he cleared out every customer he did a damn good job <laughs> best bouncer best bouncer we've ever had <laughs> so um yeah so you guys sort of stole our weapons oh so God. you guys uh sit down sort of discussing who to uh to uh interrogate next uh your suggestion was eloise the chambermaid yeah we'll head up there yeah she's currently upstairs uh getting the rooms all set up i just kicked the door in <laughs> don't get uh i like look for the i'm assuming it's a car yeah. So yeah, so, yeah. So there's like a like car about uh, about Denki and uh, besides looks like it's a bit of like a smaller car and it's sort of as like you're looking around, you see that like this like uh, this little gnome uh, comes out of the like room. She's sort of wearing like uh, just like like a like a maid dress okay. for like the time. Sort of like a lot of like browns and leathers, like in tan. Uh, she sort of make a make an inside check. Thirteen. You're not sure exactly, but you feel like she is a little bit nervous. Excuse me. Ah, what? Hi. Who are you? Oh, my name is Sybil. Sybil. Viper. 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 My name is Eloise. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. She started twiddling with her thumb. I just kind of like nod. Um, how long have you been working here? Uh, uh, about six months now. Six months? Yes. How's the pay? Out of curiosity. Pay is very, very good. Very yeah. good, yeah. yeah. It's very good, yeah. How old do you know uh, Julie, right? Julie's my boss. She hired me for the extra help. Uh, things were getting a bit busier around here, so she hired me to help her with getting the rooms all set and cleaned. So I'm guessing you know about the family heirloom. Oh yes, yes, yes. She told me yes. The the heirloom has gone missing. Yes, taken right out of her safe in yeah, the middle you, of the night. You yes. took it, right? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Did you I, see uh, anything strange by me? You know the codes told us that you have, I'm a, you have kill a copy you. of the key. To uh, the she, I did <laughs> notice. Um, I did notice that on the night that it went mi that it went missing, there was uh, 
mysterious shadowy figure that came out of her night, uh, that came out of her room that night. Um, I didn't think nothing of it at the time, uh, you didn't but think anything of just sort of a random person coming out of the no, owner of the inn's room. You didn't no, think anything sir. Weird about that. I am I am taught not not to worry about who comes in and out of these rooms. Can you tell me if this was a tall figure, or short figure? Yeah, describe it. It it was it was a taller figure, yes. Masculine, feminine. Uh, I could not tell you, sir. <sighs> it might have been a bit of both. Oh, transvestite. <laughs> <laughs> she sort of like just like she really wants to get back to where she's sort of like buying like her cart. I just kind of want to examine the cart a little bit. Just kind of lean around, look at it. Uh, make a perception check. Eight. <laughs> it's full of cleaning ben. supplies, towels, bed sheets, pillows. Like no. just yeah, just like dirt, like dirty stuff is being put on the car. She's sort of like taking off like a clean ones and replacing it all. Yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll let you go back to work. Okay. Thank don't you. leave. Thank you very much. No, I would not leave, sir. Okay. Do not worry. I'm just gonna get back to work now. Okay. Thank you. Trust her. And as you two walk away, you see that she sort of like takes her car and just like. Just sort of like, just really like scoots away, like sort of, like Wait she like she skips like the like next room and goes to like the, like further like the further room, just 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 be further away from you guys. That's a little, mm-hmm. a little sus. <laughs> I'm about to As say, you can say. <laughs> so, a little sus back. Where is Genki? A little sussy. <laughs> a little sussy. Yeah, are you at the table? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, do you want to put him on watch? Hey, because he's short. You're short and small. And she hasn't watch. seen you. That's a racist. <laughs> she hasn't seen you. Hey, him. you're a dwarf. No, no, no. no. And he's she hasn't half seen you. That's racist. You, hey, you're hey. a midget. <laughs> Have you? Do you want to flirt with her? Huh? You keep her entertained. How do I do that? Oh, wait, Tinky. Just keep an eye on her. If you want to talk to her, go ahead. But just, just keep an eye on her. See what she does. Stalk her a little bit. I you should know how to do that. You can do that. I can do that. <laughs> I can do that. Make sure she doesn't see you. But if she does, come up with a story. Not that you're stalking. Actually, that might be a good story. That might be a good story. I'm just stalking you. <laughs> are you following me? No, I'm stalking you. <laughs> Why are you following me? I'm just a stalker, I swear. <laughs> Not a ranger. She rip off the ranger mask. Do you have the table or she at work? I was going to say, you. <laughs> Uh, Julie is still bringing food to Sebastian. She has not stopped like this whole time. Like right, like right when like you think it's like there's gonna be no more food in that kitchen. Like she's bringing out like more plates and like just like entire trays. I hope you're happy. I'm uh gonna try just like take some food. Beat it. I'm gonna slide a hand some food. Why do you have to take it? It's right in fucking front of you. There's so much food on this fucking he table. He won't let food. me. You don't know it. You wouldn't notice it. It's all over the table. First How would he notice it? First, it's a good idea. First of all, you didn't even ask him if you could take it. Like, who knows? Like, he might let you. Is this for everyone? No. All right, I'm just like, hey, some <laughs> <laughs> What do you give me? Oh, whatever. I want some cake. Is there cake? There's cake. I can use some uh, cake. Coffee, yeah. coffee and cake. Yes, <laughs> oh, that was a great day. <laughs> Put it together. Terrible <laughs> Uh, Go ahead and make a sleight of hand trick. Go ahead and make a perception check. Do it. Don't think that's in total. Go ahead and make perception check. (laughs) You managed to grab like a stick. Like a turkey leg. You managed to grab like a like whole like plate just like (laughs) just hide it underneath like your like shirt. Just like you know what? I redirect Julie to a different table and go sit at that table and eat it. Gotcha. The whole turkey. <laughs> Part of what you have eight more turns. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, uh, so, uh, so as you direct, so as you redirect Julie to another table, she sort of sits, sits beside you. Goes, so anything? Uh, Elo- Eloise. Eloise. Yeah. Eloise was a little Ooh. shifty. Uh, she is she she is a very nervous person in general. Um, oh, that's just her nature. Yeah, that's just her nature. She's very nervous in general. She did say she saw a shadowy figure come out of here. 
a shadow figure came up, came out of my room. I forgot that. Interesting. Uh, Is that the only thing she said? <laughs> no. However, after she said that and we let her go, she like skipped six rooms. That's an exaggeration, <laughs> but <laughs> we interesting. She skipped a couple of rooms. Seemed to be to very get away yeah. From us. yeah. Do you suspect her? I mean, I suspect everyone. I, I still kind of suspect you for the insurance. <laughs> <laughs> what is insurance? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> but we don't talk. What about, is this thing? We don't let people know about insurance, or else they'll claim it. Do you have a lock on your phone? My door is locked at night. Yeah. Who is it? Let's just say, do you have anybody who has access to the room? It's it's just me and it's just me and Elle Louise when she goes to clean my room for the evening. Mm. Mm. Now she's on the suspect. Definitely. Yeah, she's on the top. She's, 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 she's the top. She's the top. Bit of a sussy guy. That's just fucking. <laughs> a horny, a horny chambermaid, huh? Can I make what? extra cash on that? I want to go to the bard again. It's tough it times. Hit? There's a recession going on. Is the is Luther still playing? Uh, Luth, Luther is still playing. Yes. Okay. I just kind of want to. Uh, he's just like playing. He's not like singing or anything. Yeah, I was gonna say like he isn't like full on playing. He's sort of like tuning his like good oh. guitar because just like a couple of people left. Like you sort of ruined his day of work by so, like, getting rid of all like the customers. I, I ruined. <laughs> well, you Who guys. Who the food? <laughs> no, you don't know that. You are. He looks at the like golden plate that like the like king's feast like is served on. He looks at you. I point to Sebastian. Sebastian's mm-hmm. table's covered. Yeah, covered in in in, in plates. Like, <laughs> his food is being stacked on top of his food. <laughs> uh, I just kind of go up to him, like uh, like walk on the the stage with him, just kind of lean in and be like, uh, "This woman of the night. What does she look like exactly? Just, uh, that like race machine." Well, she was uh bad. <laughs> yeah, she was bad. Naughty. She was down bad. I bet. Uh she was a human, as I recall. Yeah. Slender figure. Ever sized. Oh, uh, very voluptuous. Not short, I mean Some might even say I'm a bit of a chubby chaser. Okay. Alright, so not not to uh, no. Okay. Well, whoa, whoa, what's <laughs> Could wrong you with imagine that? How would that even fit? <laughs> uh, something tells me you could fit. <laughs> Are you hitting on me, sir? Would you like me to? Then I just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> he just started sitting there, like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> uh, I asked Julie mm-hmm. about the. Uh, the merchant dude who comes to town. Garrett, yes. Garrett. He he He's currently has a room me. upstairs. Do you know if he's there right now? Uh, he should be there. He doesn't really come come out much. He's more of a he's more of a recluse. Mm-hmm. He's very protective mm-hmm. of his wares. Mm-hmm. That's gonna be hurt when mm-hmm. Kevin's talking, because you know I can't mute just you. <laughs> <laughs> has uh Danky noticed anything while stalking Janky, have you been uh, stalking Eloise? Yeah. And? Make a stealth check to see how well you've been stalking her. Something. Pretty good job of stalking her. You see that, like, you see that even though she doesn't think that anybody's watching, you sort of still see that she's a bit, like, shifty. She's sort of, like, going through, like, everything. Uh, sort of, like, peeking around her shoulder every once in a while. Um... Yeah, just sort of like going through things like she's like checking like uh, like twice and all of the like drawers like and everything there, going through like the like chest and just sort of like dusting it off, just going inside, just dusting everything off like inside of there too. She's very thorough, but she does seem a bit jumpy, almost like a rabbit, just sort of like at, like literally like if you could say anything to her right now, like she may just like bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Just have a heart attack right there. <laughs> so his name was Garrett? Garrett. Who do you think should go talk to Garrett? Because I'm assuming by Julie and her description of him, uh, maybe two people would be too overwhelming. 
Mm, Garrett is, yeah, yeah. Garrett is a traveling merchant. Okay. I'll I'll go with you, but I'm not gonna like talk. I'm just gonna be nearby, like listening from around the corner. Mm. Mm. What room is he? Uh, he's in the, the very last room and on the left. Okay, thank you. So I'll stand outside of the door and just listen. Okay, I knock on his door. So as you knock on his door, sort of, uh, uh, it it opens up and you see uh, inside there is a big hefty half <laughs> half half orc. Is that like the like door? Sort of like looks down. And he's like, "Well, what do you want?" Hi, I'm sorry to disturb you. Um, you're Garrett, right? Garrett's my boss. Oh, can I talk to Garrett? Sort of. Just after like a like couple of minutes, she like opens it back and just come in. Thank you. He sort of steps outside, like the door, and just stands just in front of it, just looking at you like. I'm uh, just here for the same reason you are. So we- Watching this door. Yep. <laughs> I see. Make sure the door doesn't go anywhere. You want to play some blackjack? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he takes the lucky like deck of cards. <laughs> it just sort of like sits on like the on 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 like the floor like across from you. Just starts like dealing cards. <laughs> both just sitting cross like it. <laughs> I turn back and I'm like, what the fuck am I looking at? But okay, that's fine. I am making sure that I'm like. Close to the door and in within earshot. <laughs> yeah, so you go inside the room, and first thing you notice is just full of chests, like half open, like jewelry, like displays. Like there are like rings and necklaces and like brooches and like just jewelry all over like the place, just sort of like just opened up and like and spread around. And, and, heirlooms. <laughs> and you see that uh, the man that you presume is Garrett of. Uh, very, uh, a very short and rotund man. He sort of has a big, like, curly, like, mustache. You see he's holding up, like, sort of a little, like, like notepad. Looks, looks like he's taking uh, some inventory of his wares. So he goes, can I help you? Yes, um, I'm presuming your Eric. Or not Eric, Jesus, Garrett. Your Eric. Your Eric. Garrett, Eric. <laughs> that would be me. Eric. <laughs> Eric. Um, Garrett. Um, how long have you been stopping by this town. Uh, Everton is one of my prime stopping points traveling from the coast to Rag and Pass. Oh, so you reside in Rag and Pass? Most of On time. occasionally. Uh, my shop is in Ravensburg, per se, but uh, Rag and Pass is a good stopping point. I make a lot of profit in the capital before I head home. Um, I'm guessing you've heard about the family heirloom. Ah, uh, yes. Miss Miss Louis, Miss Julie's prized family heirloom. I remember it now. Six sapphires, three emeralds, an inlaid ruby. It's quite a magnificent piece. You've seen it. You've seen it. I have seen it, yes. Um, I'm guessing you've heard about the Ravensburg family heirloom. Julie had mentioned she had a prize family heirloom, and I offered to give her an estimation of if things ever go south, how much she might be able to sell it for. At my previous estimation, I surmised that the heirloom might be worth somewhere around 8,000 gold pieces. <gasps> That's a lot of pieces. <laughs> it was quite a spectacular piece. That's 10 telekinesis ranks. <laughs> One for each finger. <laughs> now, I don't want to be this way, but you can see how you could be a little bit on the suspicious side. My dear lady, everybody is suspicious when a heinous crime is committed. Then, do you have any suspects of your, of your own? You may have taken the jewelry? I suspect that the chambermaid, Miss Eloise, might have taken it. I mean, have you seen her? She's like a rabbit. So nervous constantly. Nobody is ever that nervous constantly their entire life. Plus, she's been working here the least amount of these six months. She claims that she has seen a figure leave Julie's room. The many people come in and out of these rooms all the time. For all we know, Julie might have been having a little company the night of. Perhaps a family member of some sort or other. 
Oh, what a sexy cousin. Okay. So, I'm playing blackjack. With, yes. Uh, it's a, a half orc. Yeah, with a half orc. I just want to kind of casually strike up, like, conversation. Um, not a conversation, more... Uh, I want to try and, like... Talk about raising the bet to... Because I heard him say... 8,000 ranks and listening in. Mm-hmm. So I want to kind of mention the fact that, hey man, if we could we could raise the stakes of this, like uh, maybe we could go something with like 8,000 gold. <laughs> Too rich for my blood. You got nothing that like no. is like around that no, price. this job is shit. Pays uh, like crap. Uh, yeah, I, I, I understand that. Do you even have 8,000 gold? <laughs> I got things that are worth 8,000 gold. Like, like what? Uh, you first. It's family early. <laughs> it was you. No, I've got my own uh, stuff. Do you have anything that are like, like I don't know, any trinkets? No, I, I got my trusty long sword and shield, and that's okay. about it. All right, all right. All right, I just wanted to put my own suspicions at ease. And you got 23. You're bust. Fuck. <laughs> Damn it. So, uh, wait, no, I want to cheat. <laughs> Make a slate of hand check. Twenty. <laughs> you robbed the guy for like eight gold, like just like blatantly cheating. It's like, so like you got like a like twenty four. He's like, oh, and then he like looks away and it's like a like a twenty one. You must have miscounted. I had this ace the whole time. There's six in the pile right there. <laughs> it's, it's a new deck thing. There's eight aces in a deck now. <laughs> May I ask where you were that night? Hmm. I was closing down my stall for the evening in the town. Where I was, do you uh, usually set up? I usually find that the center of town, uh, by the general store, sort of procures me a large amount of customers. So you've come across a lot of people? A lot of people, yes. In my time, Sounds I have far. been all over the new monarchy's territory, from the capital itself to Ragenfast, everywhere. So is there any regulars that you see? Not perchance. Most of my business is on the road. Uh, I don't really come across the same people twice. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> say that through <laughs> You're gonna just walk away. <laughs> Knock over some of his chest on the way out. Kick the door. <laughs> I'm gonna thank you for your time mm. and let you go back to. I'm gonna guess you categories and things. Yeah, so I was making sure that everything was here before we set off. And I would appreciate it if you didn't leave until we had to set off. Absolutely. I will stay as long as Julie would like me to. Always a pleasure. Okay, I'm walking out. Uh, as you're walking out, I just kind of want to peek in. See if I can see into any of those little crates. Go ahead and make perception check. Uh, 11. A lot of really nice stuff is in there. Like I was gonna say, from what the like description of Julie's family heir, heir loom was, it could easily get lost in all this pile of like jewels and necklaces. Like it could, like it could just fit right into the collection. But at least we know what it looks like now. Oh, Julie, that's right. Yeah, but we didn't ask. We yeah. were stupid. Yeah. We're great investigators. She drew some pictures. She drew. It's just terrible at drawing. <laughs> it's just a circle. It's like this. Hey, yeah. have you gone through her cart anytime she's left it alone? Can you do that? Can you do that? Can I do that? Make a perception check. <laughs> first of all, make make a stealth check first. See, see if you want to notice. Two. Oh fuck! <laughs> so as Eloise Sorry, is... no. I not my not minus two plus two. Six. Oh my god. So, as Eloise is finishing up that room, uh, she sort of turns around and sees you just rifling through, like, her, like, heart sort of, like, nose deep in it. And you come out just holding, like, a, like, pair of undergarments, just... And she just locks eyes with you, like, I... I put them in my pocket real slowly. 
<laughs> just looking for some of those tiny soaps. You fill your gun out too. <laughs> <laughs> she sort of just like freeze like a deer and and like the headlights just. Can I help you? <laughs> Housekeeping. <laughs> I'm gonna do hiring. No, chambermaids? <laughs> no. I'm gonna carry on. <laughs> she sort of just walks up to the car, just. <laughs> I'm in the car. <laughs> <laughs> and she just goes off to like her other thing. But from what you were looking at it, like really deep in there, like. And make a perception check to see if you could have seen anything while you were rifling through it. I love it. You found you found the underwear. That's a pretty good find. That's a good find. Who's underwear? Still fresh and warm. Is there anybody else staying in this place? Uh, a couple of like regulars, like some like drunks and stuff. Is there any empty rooms? Uh, there are some empty, some empty rooms. Yeah. Can I enter an empty room? Yeah, I was gonna say so. You so you can go through all the rooms. The only room that you can't go in is the one beside Garrett's room. That one uh, belongs to a uh, Serena. It's currently. Uh, can I do a perception check on the empty rooms to see if I find? Sure. If you make a perception check, you make a slight hand check. Uh, with thieves tools, I get another hand check. Uh, you add your proficiency bonus to it. Okay, nothing. So, so add my yeah, plus seven. Exactly. I got seven. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen? Uh, so, you, yeah. with your seven, you sort of go through them. They look pretty good. Like for like Eloise's like jumpy nature, like she does a pretty good job like cleaning cleaning rooms. And for you, um, you notice that as you're lock picking it, something doesn't feel right. The lock itself, like sort of as you start to go through like uh, pushing through all like the like tumblers, it almost seems like this lock is like way way higher grade than what should be for like a regular like thin like lock. Like you like you broken she into like herself. like you broken into like a lot of mm-hmm. places, but this just seems like a really nice lock. Okay, we're gonna go down to uh, Julie and just see like ask her. Do you have keys to all the rooms? Uh, I have keys to all the rooms. Yes. So Serena's room, I can just take a quick look in there. Uh, yes, although she is a bit of a different case. Uh, she has room and board from me, so that room is sort of her own personal rooms. She asked me kindly not to go into it, uh, not even to send in Eloise uh, to clean, and she sort of takes care of it herself. Oh, yes. But if you would, but if you do feel like you would help in the investigation, I could offer you the master key, although she wouldn't be, she wouldn't be too kind to somebody going into her personal belongings. Would she know? If I'm not, like, if I'm careful, I'm not Moving things around and just taking a quick look. She might. I mean, uh, she does have a bit of a sharp eye, but um, that would be up to you. If you think you can just go in and just uh, come out now without wait. touching anything, mm-hmm. that would be up to you. Yeah, I'm gonna wait. The hell am I looking at? I mean, you have a bunch of cats. You seen clean themselves? I've seen cats clean themselves, not fucking humans. He's got a sandpaper tongue. You don't clean yourself? Not like that. No, but you finished off the entire pot of coffee in the meantime. Like you are buzzed. What were you going to say? Nothing. What yeah. were you going to say? I'd like to fucking say it. I dare you. Go has been brainstorming new inventions. Say it. The rest of this time. Here you go. Yeah. Do, you, do, you, do you tell any of your invention ideas to Sebastian? No. He's like doing that thing with like the numbers <laughs> going on. <all right. laughs> So yeah, he's Eric in his head right now oh. <laughs> on a coffee rest. Apparently, mm. <coughs> go ahead and make an go ahead and make an intelligence check. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What, 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 what? I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna wait for the adventure. Seventeen. Seventeen. You have a brain blast. <gasps> brain blast. You, you pull out your notebook real quickly and just scribble in it. Uh, you come up with like a prototype for like a cannon oh. that you could mount to like your arm and fire cannonballs from like with like ships. It's a mega buster! And, and you a think, <laughs> and you draw it down so well and so intricately, you think that if you take it to like the like right blacksmith, he might be able to build it using your instructions. 
And I, I told you that the blacksmith seems different and odd and weird. So you might be able to, you might go brain blast. <laughs> I mean, I gotta go back to him. Yeah. At the end of the day. Yeah. You know, I gotta go back to him anyway. So maybe, maybe I'll, I'll show him the plan and see what he thinks. Sebastian hands you a, a whole sim brain food. <laughs> no, Nobby has no context, he'll eat it. Ah. <sighs> He enjoys hanging out with Sebastian. He's a good time. Yeah, when Sebastian's not on like a murderous killing spree, he's a bit of a cool guy to hang out with. Never, never. No, he's never. He's pretty chill series. around Nobby recently. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's you know, it's uh, it's like that ride or die men. Yeah. Man, well, man, you're not on my list. I'm a paladin. <laughs> what a nice man. All right. So, um. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, uh Lise comes by you, uh, sh- uh sorry, uh, Julie comes by, you. she's like, so, <laughs> what do you think of Garrett? Garrett is a, he's good at dodging questions. He's a bit of an odd fellow, I mean, he is a merchant, you know, he has to be quick with his tongue. Told, oh, yeah. His bodyguard that, is not good at blackjack, or at least counting. He told us that uh, he appraised your family heirloom. Yes, actually, he has been quite persistent in me selling him my family heir. Say, he gave me the uh, the estimation, just sort of like just just out of nowhere, he offered it. Um, he offered to buy it off of me, but you know, it being my family heir and everything, he uh, I just politely turned him down. But every time he stops by the end, he's always persistent about it, always asking if I'd be willing to change my mind at some point. What's the highest he's ever offered? Um, I think last estimation, the first one he gave me was around eight eight thousand gold. Uh, the most recent one he gave me just uh, about uh, four four days ago was around uh, like twelve uh, twelve thousand gold. Uh, he told us it was worth eight hundred. Eight thousand. Eight thousand. Eight thousand. Eight thousand. Eight thousand. Eight million dollars. Eight million dollars. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, he is a merchant. He's always done a sort of love, like the numbers of it, so he can make a bit of a profit. I don't, I don't blame him for it. You know, he's just trying to make a, uh, a, a living. But you know, he's some that so much. Then. Clearly, it's worth a lot more. But, you know, some things are for sale. Some things are not. So every time he asks, I just politely decline. Oh, was oh, it my turn? Do you have a feeling you would take that? I've known Garrett for a long time. Uh, you, usually he brings me presents whenever uh, he stops by me. And uh, this time he gave me a, a small gold band ring. Um, other than that, I think I think he just, um, I think he sort of is into me, but I don't really want that sort of thing. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Serena should be. Oh, uh, actually, sorry. No. What's the, the chambermaid? What's her name again? The what? The Louise? The chambermaid. Yeah, Louise? No, Louise. I'm sorry. There's uh, no, Louise have a room and she stays there. Uh, she has a room behind the counter, yes, uh, that she uh, stays in when she's not working. Could we take her? Sure, by all means. She, she just hands what you like, like the key to, to it. I'm gonna go in there and take a look around. Nice and depth. So, uh, she sort of leads you to Eloise's room. There's a small door beneath, like, the stairs that go, like, upstairs. It sort of, like, unlocks and, like, uh, just goes in this, like, a smaller room, you know, built for somebody that's, like, of gnome size. Um, it's sort of, like, you really have to, like, crouch as you, like, go in there. But, um, you know, it's, like, a simple thing. There's, like, a bed. There's a chest, there's a small like like bookcase, there's sort of some like clothes like in like a pile, some like uh, clean sheets that she's gonna be folding later on. But... Yeah. Yeah. Like Make a perception check. Oh, yeah. Six. No. Unfortunately you don't find anything out of the ordinary. Could I take my time and real like trunk for the that toy? You can take you can take a ten. So if you would have rolled a 10, what would you have gotten? That's one. 12. Uh, so you are going around. You see that by her desk, uh, 
you sort of like could step around, you see that there's a loose floorboard beneath her desk yeah. there. I'm just gonna kinda take my dagger and wedge it. Open. Just wedge it and pop it open. Yeah. You see that there's sort of a like small little pocket like area under there. And uh, inside of it, you see that there's a small brown uh, leather sack just sitting sort of on the like dirt hole, uh, sort of uh, dug into like, this area here. I see you. Do you grab it? Yeah, okay. So you grab it and open it? It just looks like her life savings. There's like 60 gold in there. Okay. I just close it, put it back. So uh, you put it back, you step out. Uh, the sun's starting to set now. It's starting to get about, I want to say, 7, 6 o'clock-ish. Um, you know, uh, the evening is starting to come up. Uh, the evening rush is starting to come in. They're starting to pour drinks. Um, uh, Julie has told you that uh, that the Serena should be back in about a couple of hours or so. Usually she arrives at sundown. Uh, how much food is Sebastian? Uh, He's still eating lunch. Yeah, but how much has he eaten so far? Percentage-wise. Percentage-wise, he has Does he have the will to eat a lot? Yeah. <laughs> it tastes not like shit. That's a good He point. has eaten less than half. <laughs> still See, gone. If you want an, an exact number, he's eaten about 44% of it. And I've eaten 30 <laughs> No, do you know? You're just like, where's the third turkey? Ah. It's too many to count. <laughs> yeah, yeah there's too much food. <laughs> Was that a normal level four? Mm-hmm. What did he try and do? He says he's level seven. Yeah. Seven by the time he gets here. We're going to be level seven in the next time we play. Yeah, we're leveling up this session and next session. <laughs> wow. Two um, levels to it. Yeah. So uh, we've got we've got the double XP <laughs> So um, you can uh, go back to the two like the blacksmith now and get your uh, and get your stuff that you commissioned. Yeah, Nobby will do that. Yeah, I'm gonna go with as well. <laughs> you just come back after all your interrogating, and you see Nobby staring off into space, <laughs> and just suddenly gets up and goes. Yeah, he's like he's on to something. Where's Nobby going? Nobby has a clue. Yeah. <laughs> Does not even take fall down well. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Alright, so <laughs> So the two of you uh, make your way back to the blacksmith. Uh, uh, it's starting to get dark out, it's starting to light the like like the lanterns across like the uh, the streets. Um, and as you make your way up uh, you see that you get up to like the blacksmith. The uh, the uh, door has like a closed sign hung on it. Uh, but you do see that there's sort of a like rock like propping it, 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 it like it, it open like their business hours are closed, but you can still go in mm-hmm. if you wanted to. All right, yeah, I'll be able to go right in. Yeah. All right, so you go in. Uh, there's lanterns sort of lit uh, in the like store front area. You see uh, that uh, the man is behind the counter still. He's sort of like just like cleaning up, like just straightening things out. You see that he's like just going up, just polishing all like the daggers, like and tools up on like the wall there. Um, he sees you and he goes, ah, welcome. I have your commission ready. Mm-hmm. Sort of like wrapped up in like in very, very nice cloth. He sort of hands it over to you. And inside is a little like is like a little like goblin size like buckler shield and the hand crossbow. I just realized I never actually took my arm back. I was about to say, I was running up with your arm. <laughs> <laughs> You I, are running after them? Yeah. Alright. Like, Wait! Only the arm, <laughs> With right. no arm. Only the arm. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not very fast, so you would have definitely caught up. Yeah. I just realized that now. I was like, I never actually said anything about the arm. But, I just uh, assumed he would give us our shit back on the way out. But. Yeah, okay. Anyway, um, yeah, Nobby would uh, take the gear from him. Mm-hmm. Then he'll have a moment that he'll, like, he'll pull out the sheet and, like, showing the, the arm. Attachment that he drew, and he goes, "Pieces for this, you sell." The man sort of like, like uh, reaches on the counter, and takes out like a like pair of glasses, and takes. He's like, "Who drew this?" Me. No, Nobby. Oh, you're here now. You I drew it. Give you your arm. That is immaculate. It's like a proper blue blueprint. I'm like a proud father of Nobby. <laughs> <That's his laughs> it's going on the fridge when we get home. <laughs> <laughs> the gold star. This. 
This would take a lot of time, but I couldn't. I could maybe make no. it. Me make. You could make this, yeah. Sell material to make. I can sell you some of the stuff, yes, but for the actual cannon itself, I was just going to do a ship out in the dockyard, see if you can per per procure one from them. <laughs> Probably make that work. Mm -hmm. But for the rest of the material, such as like the like like the like raw struts, uh, the leather straps, I could probably sell it to you for around twenty or so gold pieces. I can sell you the raw materials. Nobby will nod and hand them the money for the materials. Right. Yeah. So he sort of goes in like uh, the back, and again, uh, and yeah, and again, you guys could, like can like see like that as he walks away, he's leaving no footprints behind. Now Sebastian is noting that, is noticing this for like the first time. Like as like what? he's walking in like the back, he's not leaving any footprints as he goes. He's too focused on the blueprint that he's proud of. Yeah. So, so he uh, comes back out with a small chest, like about like yay big, like just full of like materials like inside of it. Sort of like puts it up on like the counters. Like, will there be anything else? No. Thank you. You want you want any uh, food? I stuffed it all in the bag. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat it all the bag. I'm getting a little bit full. You want some anything? You, anything? Anything? You want, like you want something? Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't eat meats. There's literally anything. You, it's, it doesn't. Have, it's not all meat. Yeah, but it's all mixed in. You want some like peas? A, <laughs> all peas in the bottom of the bag. <laughs> I'm quite alright. The bag's Thanks. just dripping. Uh, Sebastian, go ahead and make a perception check. Oh, mm. that's a like. <laughs> oh, it's Oh, ten. You don't notice anything out of the ordinary. I didn't notice his footprints. No, uh, you did notice the like footprints, but you didn't notice a anything on the surface. I don't like when you do this. <laughs> so I know there's something. <laughs> He's a freak, but he's a nice freak. I'm um, eating the word. It's just like about me or him. <laughs> Both. It's yes. Just, it's just like Baldur's Gate. Walking through a cave, persuaded a perception. <laughs> no, it's a trap! <laughs> Four perception um, <laughs> Viper and Navi, I'll let you two both... I'll let you two both roll one more perception check before you leave each. Ready? Twelve. 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 <laughs> I'm rolling close today. Seven. Yeah. So yeah. So no. Yeah. So nobody notices anything out of the Just a tall, slend uh, slender, built man. Uh, he doesn't like meat. And he doesn't leave any footprints behind when he walks in. Like the he does good business. It's all Nobby really cares about. Yeah. And uh, he said to try and find like, some cans by the docks. I think I'll also try and head over there. Can I help you? You two are following. Can I help you? You going to the dockyards? Depends. No, bend over the couch and spread your legs. He's distracted right Can now. Oh, oh, oh. He's distracted. Are you distracted? She's reading smart. Yeah, you can sleep. Yeah, you can sneak off on your own. Oh yeah. They, they you. I was gonna say Viper looked looked away for one second. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Should have paying attention. You shouldn't have been reading smart. Why are you looking at it? Why are you reading it? You guys are bad guards. No, uh -uh. The She's warders. not here. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> she was supposed to watch you. And you were the only we're the only convicts right now. I, I know. <laughs> the only one. <laughs> she was supposed to watch you. <laughs> and you ran off to uh, follow so, us. Yeah, so yeah, so you guys step out of the like uh you guys step out of the uh blacksmith. Uh you look away for one second, you look and Sebastian is gone. And Nobby just goes, Cannon! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Nobby. Where's Sebastian? <laughs> Sebastian That's your problem, not mine. Fuck. I just want to like look around and see the giant half orc footprints. They can make for seven and check. What time is it? It's around seven. Like at night? Yeah. Is the sun gone? It's getting a bit dusk out. But the light isn't. Is it daylight? So you go ahead and make a perception check, you go ahead and make a stealth check with advantage. Oh, fuck. Not twenty. <laughs> he is gone. Gone like he didn't leave any fun. I was gonna say he, he learned. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, so, 
Oh, oh, I can do that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's cool. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So Sebastian, what he did was he snapped a branch off of a like tree, like and Isaac walking. He's just like brushing like. <laughs> Do you like footprints a little like away? But he's actually not leaving any footprints. He's hovering. <laughs> he's just yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. He just using like his like boots of flying. <laughs> yeah, that's how you snuck off each one. He's <laughs> just right away. above you guys, <laughs> giggling away. <laughs> that was, that was me. <laughs> uh, we're gonna take a quick break now. It's about six thirty. We're gonna go ahead and break for dinner. And we'll be back in about it's an hour. Dinner time. What? Dinner, I, I lunch, dinner. dinner. It's six. It's dinner, it's dinner time. time. <laughs> lunch, dinner. No. Dinner. <laughs> dinner. No, it's dinner time for Snorlax, which means dinner time for us. Exactly. Oh shit, Snorlax! <laughs> All right, so we'll pause the recording here. We'll go ahead and have some grub. <laughs> hey there, Cameron here. During this little break, I'm going to talk directly to your ear holes about our sponsor, us. Did you know that you can listen to this podcast nine hours earlier if you listen on Spotify? That's right. Roll for Stupidity comes out at 3 a.m. EDT every Friday on Spotify. And if you like this podcast, I'd highly recommend you check out Quay, Perpetually Postponed Podcast. That's Q-U-E-Y, Perpetually Postponed Podcast. It's also on Spotify and YouTube. It features a lot of the same cast, me, Josh, Ren, uh, occasionally Jeff, occasionally Eric, Occasionally Kevin. We had Evan on there at one point. A lot of our friends are on there. And comes out every other Monday, again at 3 a.m. EDT on Spotify and noon on YouTube. Now that that's over with and you're done listening to me babble on about us, let's get back to Roll for Stupidity. Uh, so uh, we're still in session 11. We just came back from a little lunch break. Got some burgers. Thank you, Josh, for making them. Thank you, Josh and Ren. Thank you, Ren. Uh, Eric, what happened before we went to lunch? Eric, what happened? Oh, fuck. I didn't even do anything. I ate. That is fair. We, we didn't do a whole lot. What did you do before you ate? I, I was working. And? No, before you started working. You went to a fucking store. That was before that? Yes! Oh. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I got a ring. Damn shit. What ring did you get? Fire is this. What else did you try and get? Oh. Everything else. Yeah. Anything. What are the things yeah. that you tried to get? Yeah, you Protection? tried to. Yeah, I was gonna say, you tried to bundle everything together for a less price. <laughs> You're like, what if you just give me everything for like 200 gold? Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So, um. What? You worked? I worked eight. Then. What were we that, doing? We were here. What were we doing while you were working? I don't know. Oh, you're trying to. I don't know. You're trying to find something. <laughs> you're doing the recap. You're trying, trying to find something. something. Yeah. What? I don't know. <laughs> and then what? What do you mean? And then what? And then we did something. I hid. When? I hid. Did you hide? You guys went to try and guess something. <laughs> and he forgot his arm. Mm-hmm. And then I hid. All right. And here we are. Here we are. We're done the recap. <laughs> that is a Sebastian recap. Okay. So, um, <laughs> so uh, you guys are still Go investigating uh, the missing family heirloom for uh, for Julie. Um, yeah. So you guys are just waiting for the final suspect to show up, uh, Serena, uh, the well, adventurer who's been staying at the uh, the Hungry okay. Trout Inn. Um, sort of like free, like her room and board. She just sort of she like lives there. Um, you guys have gone out uh, to get Nobby's things. Now you're off to the docks to find a cannon. Well, I'm with Nobby. Sebastian's fucked off. I'm following. He still knows. He's yeah. way up there. <laughs> I just see your shadow. He's Peter Pan. You don't see nothing. Right. right. So uh, you guys make your way <laughs> down to the docks of Everton. Um, as you sort of walk up, uh, you see that there's like a like a group of fishermen gathered by like the docks and sort of like muttering to like them them themselves. But mm. It looks like there's something going on there. They're sort of like gathered around something with with their backs turned to you guys as you uh, walk walk up. Nobby you doesn't always, care to investigate, but if you want to, yeah, I'll, I'll lean in while kind of keeping my eye on Nobby. <laughs> So I can't lose two. <laughs> <laughs> Just scamper off. 
So as you uh, lean into uh, to sort of like listening to what's going on, uh, you hear them sort of like talking about themselves like, it's the third one in a week. They're popping up more and more every single night. I swear to God. The, the, the townsfolk are getting sick because of these here. And you sort of like peek over. So you see that they're gathered around a table and on the table itself is what you assume is a fish. But it's really not looking good. Like, it, like it's really mu- like mutated. Like, there is a, like, human arm growing out of, like, the side of its, like, head. Like, its scales are starting to, like, peel off a bit. What's the matter with this fish? It just looks... Ran- Bjorn was here. It, it just <laughs> looks rancid as hell. Bjorn, would know. Bjorn was the perfect one for this. <laughs> Bjorn would be like, I know my fish. I know my cow fish, and that ain't good one. <laughs> so, uh, so looking around, they sort of see you, like, just, oh, we didn't see you approaching there. Who are you? Uh, I'm with the Rangers. Uh, fellow Ranger, maybe you can give us some insight on on, on this. I was gonna ask you. <laughs> they sort of like uh, they sort of like uh, like bring you over to like the table with this really rancid, mutated looking fish. Uh, Penis. I don't know much about fish, but my my associate. For some reason, Nobby really Just wants to Just because I'm fish folk does not mean that. That's 100% what that means. Exactly. Fish no fish. Yes, fish no fish. So, so one of like the fishermen amongst them, like this really like decrepit oh, and like other. old guy. He's got like a really like pressed down like a uh, fisherman hat. He's got like one eye. He's like, it's, it's, the, it's the curse, I tell you. <laughs> the curse of Middlespawn Lake. You all thought I was crazy, but look now, the fish are turning into men. This is the beginning of the end. I tell you, it's the curse. You all thought I was crazy. Who's fish? Who said that? Can I roll perception <laughs> yeah. for that? Thirteen. Make a self check. It's like. It's like that one. That hey, one. fourteen. Hey, you don't like, know. Wait, does he get disadvantage because he yelled? <laughs> <laughs> it was a really quiet yell. Oh. It was one of those like uh, fake yells, like "Hey." <laughs> Sorry, where did you say the fish were from? The fish are from the lake, yeah. Middle Spawn Lake. Yeah. Okay. So it was like that old I man from you, the first song. I tell you, it's the movie. curse of the We're lake. The, the same curse <laughs> that's been taking our fishermen from the vessels and the boats and the juggernaut. They've all been disappearing. They've been eaten by these fish. <laughs> these fish. The fish. All right, so oh, you now walk Nobby up. cares about the fish, huh? <laughs> <laughs> now Nobby cares. For some reason, there's a crazy old man. For some reason, uh, there's like a, a thing in his head that told him <laughs> to investigate it. <laughs> Bjorn's yeah, head. like Bjorn's <laughs> voice is like, Nobby, investigate <laughs> the fish. No, you got to investigate that fish. My boy, Nobby, investigate oh, that fish. Juan. Do it. Do I it for Bjorn. Uh, uh, 20. Yeah. 20 in total? Yeah. So yeah. Go, so going over this fish, you sort of take a dagger out from like your like pocket, just like cut up. When you do, it's just like a cloud of like rancid smoke. Mm. Just <laughs> and like it's like more guts come out of it. Then should be physically possible what this fish should hold. Like, like guts that look like they don't belong. There. I was gonna say like like when you cut into like those videos of like beached whale carcasses yeah. that like uh. explodes mm-hmm. and like guts just come spilling out all over like the like table, and you see that mixed in with like the fish organs. There's like human organs too. So you see like a like heart. And you see like muscles, like sort of mixed in with the like yeah, white meat. Like you see like 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 the like red meat of like human flesh mm. inside of it too. Can I tell if there's like anything magical going on here? Because he said it was cursed. Um. Go ahead and make a insight check. Right. Uh, insight or arcana? Go ahead and which roll whichever you have is higher. I can say Oricon. Sorry, Jeff, I didn't want to. Alright, Bjorn, <laughs> be with me. Well, I mean. 18. Oh my God, Eight, so that 18 on what? Arcana or investigation? Uh, Arcana, sorry. Arcana. It, it, it could be. I was going to say, you have known certain spells that have gone like haywire. Sort of like uh, when. 
when a magic spell like is cast, there's like residual magic that if left unchecked will sort of like seep into mm -hmm. things and like change them and mutate them. So like like magic that's left unchecked can do like some like crazy shit. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and the old man is sort of like over beside you. It's like I tell you what, some of these fish. They're like sleeper agents, I tell ya. We pull them out of the lake, we sell them at the market, and after a few days they turn into this. People have eaten these fishes, you sonny. Why do you keep selling from this lake? It's our livelihood, but it's only every one in about a hundred fish that show up like this. Well, that's not too bad. <laughs> Yes, but the people that do eat it, oh, terrible things happen to them. We just don't sell it. Yeah, I was gonna say. Just, <laughs> why you you don't. Sell that you, fish? you don't understand. They're sleeper fish. They look perfectly fine at the market. That After a few days, they just turn like a sour apple left out on a hot day. But that fish doesn't look fine. No, I wouldn't eat that fish if I were you. No, I. I that's what I'm saying. It's like even light coming fish. out of it. What happens to him? I want to roll again. Go ahead and make another stealth check. This time with disadvantage. Uh, not 20. Oh, I got 20. Damn it. <laughs> so, where are you? Just above them. You're just floating <laughs> above them. What are you doing? Smash him, get down here. No. Alright, well, I'm not going to do anything about it. At least now I know where you are. <laughs> <laughs> People who have eaten the fish have succumbed to multiple illnesses. A lethargic like a curse seems to come over them. For even the simplest tasks they just cannot do. They have no energy to leave their beds or do the simplest things. Others have heard whispers from things that do not exist. From all the relatives. From people beyond the grave. Others... <sighs> They just go blind. Oh, it just go blind. Yeah, it's, no big deal. it's not really as exciting no. as the others. Um, I think Nobby would ask for directions to this lake. <laughs> it's the lake directly beside the town. Oh, That's I, I thought it was an ocean <laughs> beside. The town. No, it's a lake. Oh, okay. That's a Russia. <laughs> Midispawn <laughs> Lake. <laughs> Yeah, that Wasn't lake there, is cursed. There's like an island in the middle of the lake, isn't there? No. 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 There are no islands. No, no islands. <laughs> no islands in the middle of this lake here. Just rancid fish. So interesting. I want to figure it out. Fish is interesting business. Am I talking to you? Our, our whole livelihood is fish. <laughs> we live by the fish, we die by the fish. No, is you... it from all over the lake or just a specific spot you're fishing from? Did Sebastian be that smart? <laughs> He's wondering. I'm not as dumb as like, oh, that's <laughs> okay, alright. Well, usually it was every once in a while, but now. Even people fishing right off the docks are starting to pull up these here rancid fish. It's starting to become more and more, how do those fancy people say it, prominent. Prominent. What does that mean? No, I, think, a new word. <laughs> I think it means more often than usual. Oh, thank you. Thank You're you. welcome, strange flying man. My name's Sebastian, spelled hot sounds. My name is Fish, <laughs> spelt with a Y. So, like usual. Is he related to Bjorn? <laughs> fish. Granddad? <laughs> Not your granddad, Goblin Boy. <laughs> Grandpappy Fish. <laughs> yeah, so as you guys are best. It's, it's Grandpappy Two Fish, please. <laughs> Yeah, so as you guys were talking, you sort of surmise that something weird's going on with this lake. Like, usually, like, these, like, weird fish, like, every once in a while, it's like, okay, like, that's nature. It's like evolution or some weird shit. But, like, now it's, like, starting to become more of, like, a thing. Who can it? Oh, yeah. Can it? 
Any square of cannons. Boom, boom. So, um, so you're making, so you guys make your way to like the docks, and you're just like looking around for like cannons. Do you ask anybody in particular, or like there's plenty of ships like docked there. Just take a cannon. I was gonna say there are ships it's with cannons can. on them, yeah. Yeah, I don't think Nobby's gonna ask. I think he's gonna start looking around, see if there's like anything that looks particularly snaggable that he could use. Hmm. I was gonna see find lots of like fishing equipment, lots of fish, a couple more of like the mutated fish. Yeah, like just like anything that could be fashioned into the the cannon that I need. Hmm. Clank, clank my axe. Cannon! <laughs> you do spot a uh, rather large ship, um, uh, like sort of docked um, uh, at, at the pier area, mm. um, and it does have some cannons uh, mounted up alike alongside, sort of like within like I'm, the hull. I was thinking, because you said the design was like attached to my arm? Sort of like it was underslung your <laughs> arm. But e- even then, I think like a normal size cannon would be way too big for Nobby. So I think he needs to find more something like, um, like a, a gun barrel that he could fashion into like a cannon that he could shoot. It's too tight. Um, it's like a long <laughs> cylinder, long metal tube that he could use. You find a really nice cast <laughs> iron gross. bucket. His experience. <laughs> That is a pretty nice bucket. <laughs> you're gonna stop the fly. Bucket. Um. You know, like, um. Tossed away harpoon guns or anything? Uh, make a perception check. Sure. I'm just trying to think. Alright, Bjorn, be with me. You've helped me with the last two rolls. 19. 19? Oh, wait, what was that? Hey, Eric. 21. You 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 hey. manage to find an old discarded harpoon gun. Nice, that'll work perfectly for harpoon what he needs. Gun. Harpoon gun. Harpoon gun. Harpoon. It still has a harpoon like jammed into like the barrel, but from like from like looks of it, you try to pull like the like trigger, it's just like completely Shut like 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 jammed gun. and not, stuck. No, not can figure it out. He's got time. Mm. We don't have a good look at poons. Good old poon time. <laughs> I mean, Nobby's gotten what he needs, so I think. He's good to head back whenever Peter Pan's good to head back. Because <laughs> you're flying. Get it? He believes in fairies. You just got you off do, his do, list. Do you want him back do. on? <laughs> Nobby didn't say that. I said right. Okay, now Jeff is on the list. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna find a way. <laughs> Jeff. Where's the mixer? I'm so scared. Yeah, so uh, so as you guys are leaving, okay. you sort of see like the old like crazy man just sitting off to like the side, just poking like a little cane at the like mutated fish. Like, yes, there's terrible things in these waters. Oh man, that episode was hilarious. You should tune in next week for more. Roll for stupidity. <laughs>